What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video and today I just wanted to share a quick video going over some best practices to get the best out of your community 2.0 on Kajabi. This is a wonderful product that I think you should really be taking advantage of if you're on Kajabi. Even if you're not, you want to set up your community. I think Kajabi is the perfect platform to do that because you can have your courses as well as this new community and they go hand in hand together as they're all integrated within the one platform, which is super, super cool. So I'm going to share with you five little tips. The first four are features of the community and the fifth is just a general mindset, a general approach uh, to think of for your community. So the very first one is to actually have a resource page that they default to when they log into the community. And for me here, you can see I call this the start here page. So if we take a look at the back end, we can see here the navigation menu. This is where I have my windows or, or my different tabs, if you will. So my start here page is my home page. You can see users land on this page. And how do I do that? Well, I embed a link and that is a dedicated landing page that includes that welcome video on it and all the welcome text. And I also check this box that says, make this your primary page, which makes sense, right? So if I want them to see it as soon as they log in, I want to check that box and they're going to land on this exactly when they land or when they log in. After that, I have latest posts, meetups and challenges. I'll get into those a little bit after, but that is the general idea. So making sure that they go to a welcome page right away I have a super bold heading that immediately welcomes them. Welcome to the exclusive community. If you have any questions, if you want to share thoughts or take part in any challenges, how about joining our coaching calls? It's all here, right? So I tell them what it's all about. And then I say, watch this video first to become familiar with how things are laid out. And then I have a complete video that literally walks them through the entire community, how they can take advantage of it. I talk about all the features, the DMs, the notifications, all that great stuff little bit of text here that tells them some of, some of the lingo about the community as well. Circles, meetups, and home, right? And so on and so forth. So this page basically tells them everything they need to know. And in your case, if you want to share extra resources with them, like down, downloadable PDFs or exclusive videos, you can certainly link to those here as well. For me, I've linked back to the, the membership portion. So if they want to go visit the other content that they have in this community, like the master classes or pre-recorded calls or the, the success path, things like that, they can do that in this membership area. And then if they click community, then they're taken back to this community portion again, as you can see. So that is the first thing I would recommend is just to have a really simple welcome page when they log into your community. All right. Because the onboarding experience is super, super important. Like the first impressions when they log in is the number one thing that is kind of like a make or break, I would say. Uh, when it comes to members sticking around or canceling. Okay, so you really want to make sure your welcome page is, is really solid. Uh, the second thing is the next in line, and that is to have a latest post or a general feed tab, which is something that Kajabi released recently for this community, which I love, and that is that, that was a major request. Um, so instead of members having to go through the individual topics like the circles and finding the most recent posts, now you have this latest post tab, which I've called latest post, I believe it was just called feed, um, when it launched, I just named it to latest post because it's really self-explanatory. Now we can see all the most recent posts at the very top. And then as you scroll down, you can see the more, uh, you know, the previous posts, the earlier ones as they go along. So definitely have this and take advantage of it. If you haven't activated it yet, I, I don't quite remember if it's automatic or not, like it's automatically available, but if it's not, uh, be sure to turn it on because people will want to stay updated with your community, the more engaged members. And so like, I think it makes sense to have it right next to the start here page so they can get integrated with it and see what's new right away. So that's number two. Number three is the actual meetups. So one of the big components of any successful membership or community is having um, access to you, the, the creator of the membership. And in a lot of cases, we do that through coaching calls, right? So we sell our knowledge. We do um, coaching calls where they can ask us our questions. And I do them once a month. So at the time of this recording, I've done one coaching call so far using this platform before I was using Zoom and I've uploaded all those calls to my membership area, which is typically just a course product in Kajabi. But here you can see we have a room recording and it basically goes through the entire call. So if I uh, make a full screen here, you can see it's like an hour long and people jump in and out and uh, yeah, they're, they're just basically answering questions um, and I can answer them right there and then, which is great. So. Uh, yeah, it's one of the big things they're paying for access to you getting your personal feedback and critique and, and, you know, constructive criticism, if that's if that's what you're offering, but make sure you have that access that you can give to them because that's a big thing they're paying for as opposed to a course, it's more hands off for you, they can leave comments and questions under a video, you can respond to those but in an actual community, I think it's important that you offer yourself up as well 
for, for a live um, interaction, which is important. So in the Kajabi community, the new one here, you can do those recordings simply within the platform itself. You don't need Zoom or any other video platform, which is really, really cool. And as a little bonus, members can also create their own live rooms without you having to be there as well, I think. So um, I don't know if people have done this already, if they have, that's amazing. But yeah, if members want to get together and collaborate or share ideas, they can just create their own live room and invite others by using like the DM feature, reaching out to someone else, you know, and doing that. So that's really, really cool. So that's number three is using the live room feature. Number four is the challenges, right? And these are certainly not mandatory for a, a membership or community, but it's a great way to keep your members engaged. And the main challenge I have in my community is I call the monthly scoring challenge. So my niche is in the uh, the, the music niche, right? I, I teach composers and uh, arrangers how to write beautiful music, choose the right instruments to get the best out of their ideas, make it sound amazing. And so as part of this membership, I offer a scoring challenge where they can download a video or a picture, write music to it, and then upload it as, uh, as an entry into the challenge. And what's even cooler is they can take that uh, project and then upload it as part of their portfolio for potential clients in the future. So if they want to work for film, uh, you know, if they want to write music for films, for example, then they have little projects like these that they can share with potential clients and say like, oh, this is the music that I write to videos and images like these, right? So whatever you can do to kind of integrate your members more and get them involved, it's always a good idea to just to have people try out certain challenges. Um, this is done every single month, as you can see. Um, I, I release it on the first of each month and they have the entire month to score to that image or picture or, or uh, video. So that's the idea there. So that's number four. And number five, like I mentioned, it's just more of a mindset thing overall. And that is just to keep things simple for your members. Um, I think the, yeah, the, I think Stu McLaren who says that the number one reason people cancel memberships is because they simply feel overwhelmed. And I know that to be true for myself, right? Like if I, if I log into a new product and I just, I can't get a grasp of how things are laid out and where to start and how to progress step by step, I'm more likely just not going to interact with it at all because I don't want to feel frustrated or run the risk of feeling frustrated and overwhelmed. I'd rather just stay where I stay where I'm at and feel comfortable, even though I'm not going to learn anything. I don't want to feel overwhelmed in the process, right? So if the, the more streamlined, the more simple you can make your products for your customers, the better it's going to be. And it's just going to give them that much more transformation because they see that step-by-step -step system laid out for them. So again, when they log into my community here, they have the start here page. So this video is super big. They can click it, they can watch it. I tell them to introduce themselves. I tell them to interact in the circles if they have any questions. And then I tell them to visit like the meetups if they wanna join one of my coaching calls. Um, try one of the challenges. I give them a couple action steps that they can take, but it's certainly not overwhelming. And they can browse the entire community and see that there really is not that much uh, stuff to get overwhelmed by. There's a few buttons here and there that they can interact with, but overall it's a pretty simple platform to use. So if you keep things simple, I think you're, you're setting yourself up for success because um, you're, you're giving your members a, just a, an enjoyable, easy experience to use your products. And that usually spells um, you know, customer loyalty and, and testimonials and referrals because they feel like they can take control of their own lives and uh, and through your products they can see that transformation. So um, that's that's a general idea. <clears throat> Keep it simple. Can't recommend that highly enough. But yeah, those are just a couple of ideas and a couple of thoughts there to uh, to get the most out of your Kajabi community 2.0. If you haven't used it yet, if you haven't even signed up for Kajabi yet for your online business, um, the community is a powerful reason why I think you should, right? Like, of course, it can host courses and memberships. That's its sweet spot. But now the community product is just getting better and better with the new features. And um, and my customers love it. My members love it. And I, I would highly recommend it to you as well to take advantage of because it's included in your plan at no additional cost to you, which is super cool. But yeah, if you're thinking of joining the platform, they usually offer a 14-day free trial on their website. But if you use my link down below in the description, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi, then I'd be more than happy to offer you a 30 day free trial. So more than double plus two bonus mini courses, uh, Kajabi in 30 days, which walks you through step by step how you can set up your business from scratch on the platform using a free trial. And number two is called content marketing for creatives, which walks you through the exact business model I'm using to put out content into the world and then uh, monetize that on the back end through my courses, my memberships, community and so on. So you'll get that 
after you become a paying member of Kajabi, you can just uh, forward me your receipt and I'll get you manual access to that. Uh, do keep in mind it is an affiliate link, so if you become a paying member of Kajabi, then part of your payment supports me and the channel, which is greatly appreciated. Of course, there's no obligation, but you can take advantage of all those things we just mentioned if you do use my link down below. And of course, I really appreciate that. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.